Hello, welcome to Frosty76201's G.I. Joe Review Channel. Um, today we're going to do the Target exclusive um, vehicle pack. This is the Serpent Armor, formerly known as the Snake Armor. Uh, it's a reuse of a classic mold. Um, and it seems like a lot of the exclusives are bringing back like these classic kind of vintage looks. Um, this the snake armor, or serpent armor as it's now known, is pulled apart. You basically can take this front part right off. Very easy to do, it's just like that. And it's two pieces. And the legs split apart as well. This right here is a little frame that comes within the thing to kind of keep it all together. But it's made so you can put your figure uh, inside it. Uh, the pilot figure being the Neo Viper that you see before you. I put that back together. Uh, on the snake armor, on his arms, these weapons that you see right here, such as the missile and the claw, are both removable. They're very easily done. And interchangeable with, let's say, this, which I can only assume to be some sort of a laser type of weapon. And this with what I assume is a cannon. There you go, it fits pretty snugly in there. They rotate. So, I mean, you have interchangeable weapons and the fact that your figure can be inserted inside. And like I said, the legs split apart as well. I won't go into the whole mess of disassembling and reassembling it with the figure inside. Just kind of have to take my word for it. But, I mean, it fits pretty well in there. You do have to keep the arms tucked in because they do not fit inside here. Those are solid pieces. But with the interchangeable weapons, it makes it a very fun figure to mess around with. Uh, your pilot figure is your Neo Viper. This uses the exact same mold uh, as any other Viper in the Rise of Cobra line. Um, the only difference is the paint scheme. Uh, this uses black against, or black with silver armory and uh, red belts and buckles and red on the eyes, but it's otherwise the exact same mold that we've seen many, many times in the uh, Rise of Cobra line. He's got the rotating wrist, uh, which rotate just in the glove, the ball socket elbows, and ball socket shoulders. Or, I'm sorry, uh, ball hinge, my, my mistake, ball hinge, shoulders, and elbows, and ball socket head. I'm sorry about that. It does have mid-torso uh, rotation, and it also allows it to move forward. The uh, hips also move in a ball second, allowing them to move outwards, inwards, and side to side. It's got the double hinge on the knees, and a ball hinge ankle, allowing for rotation or your horizontal or vertical movement. It also comes on your basic Cobra Battle Stand with Cobra logo. It can also be used as a dog tag for young kids. Uh, his accessories include his uh, Viper backpack. It's got a single peg right here at the top. And it's actually kind of hollow in here, which is great because it allows you to fit his uh, handgun right here, right into the backpack, you know, for a little extra storage. Uh, also, if you notice, on the sides of the backpack are these, are these little two pegs, which allow you to insert the weapons like that for extra storage. And you know, it works with both weapons. And, you know, just a matter of, there we go, getting them on the pegs. And then it just pegs right into the, your, your, uh, your figure's back. So I mean, you can, you, you can handle all of his weapons in storage mode without actually having to have any in his hands. Uh, which is, you know, kind of a little fantastic thing for display. But like I said, it's a basic Neo Viper mold. They call him the Viper Cobra Viper Commando. Uh, this retails for about $9.99 at any uh, local Target. Uh, he was part of the uh, first wave of vehicle releases, so he might be a little difficult to find, especially now after the holidays. But I mean, if you if you can find him, I'd go ahead and pick him up. Uh, he is a much sought after figure and a welcome addition to anyone's collection. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure kids would love, you know, even though it's kind of an old, you know, this is an older kind of hoagie looking robot, I'm still sure kids would love it these days. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, stopping by and watching my videos. 
I uh, hope to see everyone here soon again, and please leave some comments.